In yoga, we see a human being as five sheets or five layers of bodies. These are known as Annamaya Kosha, Manomaya Kosha, Pranamaya Kosha, Vigyanamaya Kosha and Anandamaya Kosha. Translating it into English would mean, Annamaya Kosha means food body. The body, the physical body that you have is just the accumulation of food that you have eaten. It is something that you gather. Manomaya Kosha means a layer of intelligence which is capable of accumulating knowledge, but there is a layer of intelligence. It is not here or here, here somewhere. Every cell in the body has its own intelligence, yes or no? So intelligence is all across. Accumulation of knowledge is all across. When I say this, people will always think, generally the thought is, Memory means it's in your head, no, no, no. Your body has a million fold more memory than your mind. Right now, your great grandfather's nose is sitting on your face because something in the body remembers, isn't it? Yes or no? A million years ago, how your forefathers looked, unknowingly, still your hair is like that, your texture of the skin is like this, your complexion is like this, your body remembers. Your body remembers a million fold more than your mind can ever imagine. So, both in terms of intelligence, right now what is happening in a single cell in your body, can you logically, mentally or intellectually decipher what's happening in one cell in your body? One molecule of DNA, what's happening is too much to know. So, the intelligence and the memory in the body is way beyond what happens in the bone box that you call as your head. It is just that this part of your intelligence can generate thought and because you have become very attached to your thought, you think intelligence is all coming from here, no. This is exuding much more intelligence than your brain can ever think of. This is the science of yoga, one dimension of it. Let me speak about a very small aspect of this. Essentially, one aspect of yoga means understanding the geometry of existence. When I say the geometry of existence, for example, this solar system, is functioning the way it's functioning. One thing is, all this life including yourself, you're all solar powered, aren't you? Everything, all life on this planet is solar powered, mm -hmm. isn't it? I was, uh, you know, like about… about six weeks ago, I was in an open helicopter. We were just at about four thousand five hundred feet. Everybody knows every thousand feet so much temperature drops so you prepare for that and go but suddenly it became extremely cold, so cold that we had to come down. So we were just discussing, because the cloud cover came, suddenly it became so cold, we just couldn't stay there. So we were just discussing if sun disappears, how long would it take for the earth to freeze up? In our calculations, we thought maybe six months, maybe three months, something. Then when I came down, I just checked out, in eighteen hours, all the oceans on the planet will be frozen solid rock. It will be frozen into solid ice in just eighteen hours' time. So you clearly know that sun is the basic source of energy. Everything in this planet is solar powered. So, the geometry of the sun, the planet, the moon and other planets has a role to play in everything that happens upon this planet, all life is associated with this. Now when you say intelligence, when you say mind, I believe you're referring to intelligence. If you're talking about the thought process, that essentially happens in the neurons in your brain which we know. But if you're talking about mind as an intelligence, it is just all over in this body and everywhere in the existence. The very earth that you walk upon is tremendously intelligent. 
Have you ever seen that you planted a mango tree and by mistake it goofed and produced a coconut? Did it ever do that? No such thing ever happened. Just its neighbor is producing coconuts, by mistake did it ever produce a coconut? Such a nut they have… nature has never produced, isn't it? But employing your logical intelligence, many times you end up into that kind of situations. So, you need to understand this both in terms of intelligence and memory. Every cell in your body carries much more than your whole brain carries. One cell in your body, one molecule of DNA carries information that your whole brain cannot decipher, that much information it carries. What happened in the last few million years, it remembers and still manifesting, isn't it? So, it is not in any one place, not even just within you, it is all across you. The whole creation is just intelligence.